All right, guys, I'm finally in the Goodwill. Um, there's a lady here that I see here every week, and uh, apparently somebody donated their owl collection because she picked up, because I didn't get here on time. I didn't get here on time for opening, unfortunately. Uh, I was running a little late because the rain. She got this beautiful Labradorite stone owl. Isn't he gorgeous? And you guys know I would have grabbed that in a heartbeat. 209 for that. And look at this guy with the monocle. Isn't he great? I did grab a couple owls. So hopefully they'll be bringing more out today. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Here's the purses on the back wall. That one looks pretty cool. I like the contrast and color on that one. But uh, it's pretty empty. They might start, they think they're starting to bring them all back up front again. It's that time of year, so. Uh, just showing you. Slim Pickens back here. We'll uh, try to remember to look at the ones up front. Well, I have never seen the basket aisle so empty ever. I can't believe it. They're wiped out again. That is crazy. The creepy doll. I'm just creep. She feels like Rapunzel or something. Uh, 509 for her. Uh, we'll pass on that. Is this another one of those things that I have? Uh, let me see. It might be. I'm going to grab another one of them. They're good to have in the van. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Yeah, I love that Labradorite owl that she got, but I got here late. This is what happens when you get here late. You know? I tried explaining that to everybody. It's very cutthroat here. That is a nice. Oh, it's a doorknob um, birdhouse. Isn't that cool? And then we have another one here with a tin roof on it. These are great. How much are they? 609 and 609. Those are cool. I would repaint them, but they're still cool. Typical wood signs. This is for a, like a caddy uh, vanity thing for a guy. Put his watches on there and his change and everything. And there's a charging dock. What else do we have here? Um, this looks like a nice box. That's pretty. What is it open? Oh, it's got a slider at the bottom. It's 609. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see what else we have here. Little crates. We have a nice jewelry box right there. We have some art, a lot of shell art. Oh, I would have loved to have gotten that owl. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. FOMO is difficult to deal with, especially when you see what you missed. But it happens. I would have rather not seen it, but. <laughs> and um, that's about it for the wood aisle over here. So we are going to move on. Here's a nice old trunk for $13.09, a vacationer. It's still got its sticker on it. That's kind of cool. The other one took a couple weeks to sell. I should look up here too. Sometimes they have cat carriers and such, but I'll look later. Now we're in the miscellaneous aisle here. Smell well, moisture absorbing and odor eliminating. We have a teddy bear. I have to talk loud here because this is usually where I get the copyright from, so. I'm going to keep talking as much at time and table. That's a pretty mug. I like that. But I don't think it's as pretty as, I don't know. It's a nice color. We'll put it in the cart. Cute little gingerbread house here. We have a tackle box. There's a St. Patrick's Day little hanging here. He's very cute. And some of the same stuff. What is this thing? Oh, it is made out of plastic. It doesn't matter. Um, then we have a, can a like a sconce, a wall sconce. I thought this was a candle, but it's um, it is mesh. It's a whole row of some kind of mesh ribbon, wide mesh ribbon. That's amazing, pretty teal color. Then we have some binding here and some wax melts. Cute little green vase. Not much here in the bottom. Not much here on the bottom. We got some scarecrows, one stocking, one wreath. Yeah, not much here to talk about. Nice wreath here. Then we have some more mesh. We have some ink. I don't know what it's for, though. I don't know what these are. What is this? Uh, can't tell what that is. Tablecloth. Oh, I'm stuck on a, stuck on a stair, scarecrow. Topiary tree still here. We've got a Santa and a snowman hanging out. 
And then we have a little house here, a Merry Christmas house. I don't know who makes it, but it's cute. It's sort of like a cat's meow house. And we have a plaque and some, like a mask for nighttime and some lip balm, little gift set. We have some paint. There's still a couple piece, uh, bottles of paint left. Mary and office. We have some Christmas balls and uh, that's still here. So that is it for the miscellaneous. All right, we'll come over here for the plates and dishes and see if there's anything interesting. Aww, what a cute little girl. And that's oh, a chicken, a rooster. That's a nice plate. Um, it doesn't seem like they're getting many dishes in or if they're getting something good, it's usually taken. This is cool. Oh, that's really pretty. Nice job on that. 309 for that? That's really nice. That'd be a nice piece for the booth, but I'm gonna leave it behind today. But it's pretty, it is pretty. Fused glass, oh wait, is it signed? I'm gonna look for a signature, if it's signed, I will grab it. I'm gonna put it here in the cart. Papa of the year. And I have to keep talking over the music, it's very difficult. And I don't see anything else so far. We're almost to the end of the aisle. We have some Corel over here. And, oh, this is cute. Too bad there wasn't a set of them. They're adorable. Impression glass. They're really cute. I don't know why that bell's ringing. That's cute, too. I like that. It's got a kitty cat. This is uh, Fish's Eddie. I'm going to have to look that up and see what that is. I might get that. But that's it over here for the plates and dishes. So I don't know why that bell's going off. It's so weird. And I'll show you over here really quick. Oh, they have a turkey mold, turkey cake mold down there. That's cool. So we can stand up the bow halves on it. It's a nice heavy uh, cast aluminum one. And I don't see anything else over here. All right, we'll be back. So we're here in the mugs. And um, there's a cute little gnome for the holidays mug here. And we have a peace snowman mug. Very cute. Uh, looks like the same ones that have been here for quite some time. Oh, I wish I had my... I wish I had my UV light to see if these glowed, because they look like they might glow. They really do, don't they? Hmm. That's a possible. I don't think they're vintage, but they still might glow. Oh, look at how pretty these are. Love them. They're nice, dollar nine each. Very cute. We'll see if anything's hidden in the back like we usually look for, because sometimes people hide things to come back and get them today. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a Mr. Rogers mug, but he's all scratched up. That's a shame, I would have picked him up. This is from the Unemployed Philosophers Guild, Mr. Rogers mug, and he's all scratched. That's unfortunate. This is a um, Disney mug and it's got Simba there. I don't know if you could see. No, you can't see him because they have it the wrong way. Disney Wisdom mug. They want $5 for that. I guess because it's in a box, they want to charge more. Let me see what these are. Those are cute. Nice gold flower design on them. And see what else is hidden that I can dig out of here. We'll just do a once across here and say, uh, nope. <laughs> nope, don't think so. These are some nice ones with the wheat on them. Oh, here's a set of four of those. How much is a set of four? Two fifty. Well, I might just get a set of four of them instead. Dollar nine each, or a set of four for two fifty. That's a no-brainer. Santa's favorite. Then we have these nice bowls here. Look like restaurant wear. And see if there's anything else here. I like those green mugs in the back. They're kind of neat. I see a snowman back there. 
And here's a love mug. And these are cute. I was thinking of getting these. These are from Wandering Moon. Set of two mugs. I never heard of Wandering Moon, but they're cute. Nice finish on them. 409 for the pair. But I'm gonna leave them. Here's a rise and shine with an avocado. Cute. For a dollar nine. And here's a giant Christmas ornament candy jar. What else do we have? We have this best friends are ones with paws. It's nice, but it's plain. Okay, let's see what else we have here at the end. There's some of these. I know these. some of these are made by a certain company. There's this one and this one. This one you can't tell because they put rubber on the bottom of it. And I don't. that's not the company I'm looking for. This is not the company you're looking for. So I think we're done over here with the glasses. Now we're here in the metal. Let's see what we can find here. Travel mugs as usual. What is this one? Oh no, okay, not a Starbucks. That's okay. They're putting out some art now. I didn't even get to see the art yet. We didn't get there yet, guys. I didn't even get to look at it there. Um, there's a nice uh, ice bucket with bling on its handles. Somebody took the wrapper off of it. And this caught my eye. It's called Chase and Tail. And it's actually a cigar company. The Rebirth of Cigars. 209 for that. It's interesting. Then we have a homemade jobber here for when you're making a trough of food for visitors, for guests. And that is 1109 for that. I'm not seeing any displays or anything that I really need today. That's a good thing. I'm trying to keep it at a minimum today. And we have some of these candle holders here. We have two of them. And let's see. Nope, that's about it for over here. All right, we're here with the fabric and curtains and such. Uh, a lot of pillows sold. So we have some of this kind. We have a little bit of yarn. We have some crochet thread. Uh, I don't really have anybody that's looking for that, so I usually leave that behind. Maybe some curtains here, some shower curtains it looks like, and some regular curtains. Little rugs over there in the corner. Then we have some fabric here, probably some upholstery fabric and stuff like that. Alright, let's go to the other part. Alright, so I don't see much on this side here. There's a comforter in the bottom with peace sign on it. And then we have... Um, the Grinch pillows are gone. I didn't know that there would be such a good reception for the Grinch pillows, but they're gone. Here's a beautiful peacock pillow. It's all embroidered, as you can see. Isn't that pretty? $2.99 for that. I wish it was more colorful, though. Part of the peacock's charm is its color, you know, the majesty of the color, the iridescence on them. They just did that one in gold and silver. I guess that's the Shishi Lala uh, version of a peacock. But, uh... Not seeing anything really here to show you guys. No special fabric or anything. Look at this piece of art. This is done with real tile. Isn't this cool? And they put epoxy over it. It's so nice. Beautiful colors. Very shiny. I'm sure it's very heavy on the wall because it's got that um, kind of concrete stuff. But look at the size of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful colors. They're putting out a lot of art now. That is amazing. So we'll see what they put out when they're done. I'm waiting for them to restock before we go over there. So I'm here and I'm checking out the little purses. I don't see anything that really stands out to me here. This is green one. Fuzzy green one. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Ooh, sparkly one. More Ipsy bags. All right. I think we're done over here. I'm going to go check out the hats and the scarves. All right, not much on this rack for the scarves. I really don't like getting the solid ones. This one's kind of pretty, though. Kind of has that raindrop effect to it with the rhinestones. That's kind of nice. That one is a leopard print, but it's burgundy. 
Here's a gold leopard print one. That's kind of nice with the fringe on it. Kendall and James. Don't know, but it's pretty. I don't know how warm it's going to keep you. It's more of a fashion statement. Uh, these go very well at my booth, but I don't really see anything fantastic here that I can't live without that I would need to bring to the booth. Nope. Nope. Not, not what I'm looking for. There's some purses and hats here. Here's a nice houndstooth hat from Dots. That's cool. That's styling. We have another scarf here. We have a few purses here. And uh, John Ashford. That's a John Ashford scarf. All right, let me go check out the hats. All right, we have that batch of hats and we have this batch of hats, but I'm not seeing what I'm looking for here. Tons of straw hats as usual. All right, nothing here. Let's go over here. I don't see any here of what I need. Diane to the register. Diane to the registers. Diane to the registers. Crabby. Crabby. Get wet. Uh, what is it? Doran Brothers. I'm gonna have to look that up. That might be something. It's a cute hat. We got suspenders. Dark horse suspenders and leggings. Oh, look at these. Look at those. Aren't they amazing? Fishnet tights. To Zenis. Size small medium. Code three. Code three. Small medium. We got some hats here. Um, this purse caught my eye. I thought it was kind of cool. Let's see, it's uh, five dollars. It's neat with the geometrics on. It is a newer one. It is kind of lightweight, but we'll put it in the cart anyway and see. It's kind of cool. Um, some ties. We'll look at the belts really quick, and then maybe we'll check out those purses that are up front here. All right, I'm going to see what I could find here, and I'll let you guys know. All right, so I did find a good belt, and it's a Brighton. So we're going to get the Brighton belts. I'll put it with the other Brighton belts that I got last week. Very cool. All right, we're up front where the purses, other purses are. That looks like a Vera. Are you a Vera? You could be a Vera. How much are you? I have enough Vera anyway. Yes, it is a Vera. It's a bigger Vera. Um, anything stand out to me? Not yet. I look for colorful. I look for patterns. I look for style. That's a cute little thingy majigger. How much is that? That's the same price. That's all right. We'll leave it behind. But it's pretty. I like paisley. All right. Not really. Oh, look at this gaudy one here. Oh, my. That'll make you stand out in a crowd. Okay, that's it for the purses here. I don't really see anything that strikes my fancy. There's another Vera back there, but we got to get rid of the first batch of Vera before we get more Vera. Who remembers this brand, Morantz? That was a great brand back in the day. This looks like it's been dropped a few times. It's all dented in the top. It is an audio video surround receiver. Wow. Back in the day, that was mucho bucks. But I want to share it, bring back some memories for somebody. That's a cute glass tray. It's 209. We have some handprint canvases here. And then we have comfort to go in this little case. And you open it up and it's got a little photo burner in there. And it says, oh, it's a sister saying, that's cute. That's cute. I don't need it though. I just want to show you this before somebody picks it up. It is a um, a burner for your candle. It's a birthday cake. It is party light. Look at that on the little pedestal. You see the party light symbol there. That's a neat piece. I like that. Making me want cake though. If I pick it up from here, try to this is cute. It is a wizard. He is unfortunately missing his other hand. And it's really neat. The dragon's in the ball there. And it's only 209. Music, uh, San Francisco Music. Is it San Francisco? Yes. San Francisco Music Box Company. But um, his hand is gone and his fingers are gone from this hand. So that is, that is a 
terrible shame because I would have got him in a heartbeat. He's awesome. It looked like they had a lot of wizard stuff here lately and a lot of owl stuff, uh, fantasy stuff. So I probably missed out some awesome things, but we'll see if they bring some stuff out today, later today, in a little while. Let's look at the mishmash real quick. We got some colored pencils down there, nail polish, cake topper, some cards. And already we have Brenda Har, brown Brenda Har. Uh, we have some scuba, scuba gear, some candles. What kind of cord is this? Ethernet cable cord, category five. It's only 14 feet. Um, my little clip broke off of mine, but it's a 50 foot cord. So I try to do my best to keep it plugged in kind of wedged in there with something all the time. We have some potpourri and some more Brenda Har and a calculator and a phone case. This one, come on. $1.99 for that. I, I got another one a couple weeks ago. It's for badminton. We have some CD jewel cases. We have some binders. I used to find some good craft stuff in here, but I'm not seeing any any of that today. My Little Pony stickers. And we have a Halloween costume. We have some napkins and invitation cards. Men's underwear. I'm not seeing anything else in there I'm interested in pursuing. There's a little Santa. I think he's for a wine bottle. We have more binders up here, a couple games, Spongebob chalk, looks like a duffel bag there, there's some orange Brenda Har, and nail polish, mm, flashcards, masks, a floaty for the pool, and I'm not seeing, what is that? design a button. We got some construction paper here. And some little gems for around your eyes. That's kind of cool. Bath bombs. They always have bath bombs here. So it's just plain, con yeah, it's just plain construction paper. We don't need that. Little jewelry box. String lights. Oh, that little case there was cute. And we have some Christmas ornaments. We have some notebook inserts. And a few patterns. Let's see what this pattern is. New look pattern. And then there's a fan here. Oh, it's a rainbow fan. That's kind of neat. Don't need it. We have more of that rolls of mesh stuff we're doing crafting with. We have a photo album. Uh, let me see if this is for a kid or for... Is this for an, a dog? This is for a dog and it's got skeletons on it. I don't know who it's made or what the size is but that's cute that's cute it's a good recovery vest too if an animal has surgery um, but a lot of times you need it to come down here for where the surgery is but that's cute cute little pajamas for your little pet and um, collapsible cup and I don't know what those green things are I don't know what they are let's see what they are oh, I think that you move furniture around with these and what else do we have here? Some more candles, toothbrushes, butane lighter, Neutrogena. And uh, I think that's where we're going to call it, guys, because I don't see anything else here that's interesting. So we are going to move on. Oh, there's more Brenda Har down there. Let's check out the knickknacks. Um, here's a piece of slag glass they want 309 for. It's just, you know, broken off from something that they melted. Pretty color, though. It'll look nice with your crystals. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so let's see what we have here. We're going to go through here and see. I already went through here. I did get some stuff. I pulled some stuff. We'll see what I end up with. But I'll show you stuff if I put anything back. Uh, vases, little figurines. Trying to find something that... It's kind of cool to show you. A little, um, I forget their name. Snow Baby? No, uh, I can't remember their name. 
Anyway, I forget what they're called. I can never remember them, the little cherub guys. I'll remember when I get home though. That's how it usually happens. It's a creepy doll. Up there, we got mason jars, we got fruit. Um, there's this owl, but he's broken. So if he stays here, his ear's broken. And he's plastic, he's not ceramic where he can be uh, touched up or anything. Santa's still here. Here's that LP Music Big Egg. I don't know what you do with it. Big Egg Shaker. Can, oh, it's for making music, you know? That's what that is for making music. Cool. Everybody needs a big egg in their life. Um, that's a cute little vessel right there. A little vase. Another creepy doll down there in the corner. Push back. Uh, the cabinet nut lights were cool. They're wireless, but there's only three instead of six, and the remote isn't there, so that's kind of worthless. And some cookie cutters. I really wish I was here when they first put the owls out. I really wanted that Labradorite owl. Ugh. Ugh. It's killing me. It's okay. It's okay. Tough. Oh, here's an piece of art pottery. This is different. Different shape. It is signed. It's cool. I don't know the. I guess you hold it. You would hold it by the handle here and pour it. That's neat. We'll put that in the cart. I'm a sucker for the pottery, you know. And that's a different shape. We have a candle burner here. We have another creepy doll. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of creepy dolls up there. It's creepy doll day. There we go. Here's some beans, lupini beans. The soldier's still here. He's hanging out. Some more vases. That tile, ceramic tile, still here. I'm surprised. This is cool. Big old frog on a ball. It's interesting. And let's see. Anything else over here that I want to show you guys? I did grab a couple owls, so I'm glad. I don't know what that's for. That probably lights up. Does something funky. Here's a wall pocket very plain that's a cute piece of art pottery as well oh that's very heavy I don't even think that's hollow <laughs> had a lot of weight to it penguin's still here this cute little hat that's that's adorable that's adorable this owl but I'm not really feeling him at all I got some shells too they're good to break up and sell online all right, nothing much else here on this side of the knickknacks. Um, question of the day, guys. Why do you watch Thrift With Me videos? Do you watch them because you're a reseller? Do you watch them because you want to be? Do you want to... Do you watch them because you can't get out and it's a way of you going out to experience the shopping experience? Um, or there might not be any Goodwills by you? Oh, that's a cool... That's neat. I like that. Cut in an angle. It's got a sticker on it. Uh, I can't read it, but it's 709. So you know, it'd be nice for a terrarium or to put your stones in or both. Um, so like I said, the question of the week is why do you watch Thrift With Me videos? Um, not a problem. Is it because you're a reseller? You want to be a reseller? You can't get out and do it yourself. You don't have Goodwills in your area or uh, another reason. Or you just like it. They're just relaxing to watch. So whatever the reason is, let me know in the comments below. And also, guys, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and set it to all. Give us a like. Leave a comment below. And as always, pinned as the top comment under every Thrift With Me video is a playlist. And you click on click on that link, that playlist, and it will take you to all of my Thrift With Me videos in one place. And please go back and watch some of the older ones that really need a good play and check them out and see the stuff I used to find here. There's another one of those angled things. They're pretty neat, but I'd probably break them too. All right, we're gonna move on. So I'm in the plush and this guy really caught my attention. Some kind of dog and he's marked Mattel Pixar and he's got wings. He's fascinating. He's really fascinating. Look at this guy. How cool is he? 
He's 409. He must be something good. But I'm not paying 409 for him. I just I'm really drawn to the way the colors are on him, but I don't know what this is from. Maybe I'll scan him and see what what show that's from or what cartoon. And I just wanted to share him. He's so cool. He's got this big yellow tongue sticking out of his mouth too. <laughs> Weird. Ooh, I'm so excited. Some of you may know I collect these um the, the dragons, the Beanie Boo dragons. I don't have this one. I've never seen this one, the light blue one. Oh my goodness, this is going in my collection. Who are you? You're Holly? Oh yes, you're coming home with me. You're gonna meet your brothers over there at the house. Yes, that's great. Love it, love it, love it. Mine. I'm not sure if I showed this before, but this is a really cool art pottery. I love how they did the texture on this, like the draping of it. It's really neat. It is signed by a Winks. Well, it's only 309, but I don't like it enough to pick it up. I wish that design was around the outside of it instead of the inside. I make a nice pie plate, but it's uh it's not glazed either. It's just the bisque finish on there. Just wanted to share. All right, we forgot to do this side of the um, knickknacks. There's a little faux bonsai. Oh, everything is plastic. The whole thing is plastic. Well, it won't die, right? Dollar nine for that. Interesting. All plastic. This is nice. I think it was a coffee jar at one time. It looks like they ran it through the dishwasher. Yeah, Maxwell House. Maxwell House coffee jar. That's kind of cool. Like that. 309 for that. Again, vases, ramekins, bowls, mason jars. Ooh, this is a nice, nice cut crystal piece, but no stopper probably why it's here um, I don't see anything else on this side to show you I think I started showing the side but I don't think I finished it oh my goodness is this where's the match oh my goodness there's the sugar where's the creamer now we have to find the creamer hopefully we got to be on the lookout while we're here before we leave it looks like a milk glass vase that is cute I didn't see that there before Okay, I think that is it. Oh, look at all those candles. Okay, we're done on this side. I gotta find the creamer, hopefully, for this Tupperware. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. Just wanted to show this adorable purse. Very cute. Um, but it's $5, so we're not gonna get it. It's adorable, though. But I'm sure somebody will enjoy it. Somebody will get it. Cute. Very cute. All right, we're going to breeze through the art here. A lot of big pieces, so a lot of plain frames. I checked to see if this was sterling or not. It's not. It is plated. These are pretty with the pressed flowers in them. I like getting those, but nothing I have to get today. These are cool. We have Iron Man and Captain America and such. Um, big, big art, big art. Oh, look at this. You had me at bacon. 209 for that. That is really cute. That is really cute. Every garden has a garden angel. That's been here a long time. It's still here. 309. It is signed by the artist. I showed this months ago. They must have had stuff in the back and they brought the stuff back out. And then we have um, more big art here. We have the Game of Thrones uh, map too as well. But that is about it for the art. There's uh, not much little stuff here. It's just covered in the big stuff. Oh, look at the hamper. Vintage hamper. And that's it for the art, unfortunately. Well, I was going to pick this up. It's just a very light resin. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty. But, um... Oh, it's broken. The back, it's broken, and they won $7.09 for it, so that can stay here. But it is pretty. Check this out. This is a huge hourglass. Wow. They want $12.99 for it. It's a little crooked in there, but how cool is that? It's very busy here today because it's warm out, but wow. That is one heck of an hourglass, guys. 
but I think it's gonna stay. I want to show you. Well, I just looked these up. They're 24 hour, 24 inch hourglasses. They sell for between three and four hundred dollars new. Um, this would cost me like ten bucks, but I'm leaving it here. Somebody will grab it, I'm sure. Very cool. All right, I think I'm gonna do a once through and see if they bring anything else out. Again, um, don't forget about the question of the day. And um, also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like, leave a comment below, and the first comment pinned under the video will be a link that is my entire playlist of all my Thrift With Me videos. Go check out some old ones. Uh, some of them really should be looked at again. They didn't have as a, much exposure as these do now, so check them out, please. That's a cute little soap dish. I like that. I'm just seeing if they put anything else out here. But yeah, I'd love if you guys could participate and put your answer in the chat once you hear the question. That would be awesome. Oh, look at this tile. Look at this tile. It's a moose. It's a moose in the trees. He's cool. Oh, he's Sonoma. He was $10. He's cool. There's a moose for Patty. This is cute. It's a sea turtle. Chip and dip. They must have just put it out. Oh, look at his eyes. He's so cute. That's adorable. Oh, 309 for that. Not bad. Not bad. It's a big piece, though. All right, guys, we're ready for the cart review. I'm going to get these four glasses. I'm going to get those. Hopefully, they're all in good shape. I'm going to get this little wooden um, painted kitty cat. I'm sure somebody will like that at one of my sales. I do have sales on my channel. Another good uh, reason to subscribe. And I do have three levels of perks for my memberships for my channel. Um, index cards, I always need them to make um, labels, tags for my, my booth. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful snow globe. It's got a lake and it's got um, birch trees in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to get that. It's just a really nice winter piece. I'm trying to talk over the music. I'm getting this little planter here. Which has got three owls on it, which I love. Got the hole in the bottom, which is cool. I'm getting this Egypt mug, which I absolutely love. I think this might be staying with me beautiful Egypt mug. I have this Zen owl that I'm getting, staying with me. I'm um, getting this little chalkware owl, tiny guy. This is a trinket box. It looks like Harry Potter uh, book stack and a magnifying glass and everything, so I'm getting that. I'm getting this tray here wooden tray. I'm going to be using it in the van for something or I'm going to be using it at the booth for something. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I'm getting this purse. Apparently this purse goes for about $300. I can't remember the designer, but I'm going to pick that up and it's all geometric. It's really neat. Love that. Great score on that. Let's go back in here. I'm getting a Tupperware um, sugar, but I couldn't find the creamer. And then we have the Brighton belt I got. Um, these are Starbucks yellow submarine glasses with turtles on them and stuff. I love these. These are great. Had to pick them up. These are for me for home for paper plates. Can never have enough of them. Um, this is like for beads for people. The little containers for beads. Um, this is tape. And then I'm going to get this plaque here, this brass plaque, which I like. Um, this clear jewelry box, glass jewelry box. Two diamond paintings that are in here. Two diamond paintings. Um, this is another thing with compartments. We have this old flashlight. I don't know, I don't remember if it's military or not. Um, I have this hat. It's worth $60 to $80. I forget the brand of it, but um, it's a great, uh, what is it called, Gorin Brothers, and the retail on that was $60 originally. Then I have a resin kit for art jewelry, some art pottery, 
this little bag of goodies with an owl and a frog and a lizard and a lion and all sorts of stuff in there. That's really cool. Another Precious Moments doll, shells, um, some organza bags, a Boyd's Bear bunny, a couple beanies, uh, another piece of art pottery here, and um, I think that may be about, I'm trying to move this, and another bear, and another, per oh, and this, this is cool. Let me try to get to it. Yeah, I can't reach it. This is adorable. This is a crab wine bottle holder. I'll get him out here to show you. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. So he's coming home with me as well. So not a crazy amount of stuff, but just enough stuff. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like. Leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to listen for the question of the week and put your answer in the comments section under the video. That'd be great. Also pinned to the top comment under my video is um, a link to all my Thrift With Me videos. So you can binge watch them if you really like watching. And let me put these away. Thank you for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Have a good one.